Now, ladies and gentlemen, watch me carefully. I have here a box which contains genuine, authentic magic powder guaranteed to produce a genuine, authentic magician such as our next guest, the fascinating Fred Keating. Now, according to my directions, I take a pinch of powder, repeat the magic word, Sintorano Sino Poop! No magician. Well, maybe a larger pinch would do, huh? All right. Sintorano Sino Poop! That's funny. They assured me it would work. You're having trouble, son? Oh, Mr. Fred Keating. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. If you would kindly relieve me of some of this uh, mm -hmm. sartorial impedimental, I can get to work. Very well. I uh, know. Thank you very much. They'll be quite safe back there, won't they? I mean, nobody, uh, you know... No, that's how I got them in the first place. <laughs> now, my friends, with the assistance of Peppy the Yogi, a mystery from ancient China. <laughs> I shall now, I despite my condition, I shall now attempt one of the great unsolved mysteries of all time, Houdini's favorite, which he featured up into his desk in 1926. Mr. Houdini not only taught me this trick, but I have inherited the exclusive right to his performance. Now, if you remember, Houdini would take 26 sharp steel needles, place them on the end of his tongue, withdraw his tongue, and swallow the needles. And that was only the beginning of the trick. Mr. Tripp, do you have the needles? Yes, I have. Ladies and gentlemen, I myself purchased these needles and this thread last night before the stores closed. And on my word of honor, this is the first time Mr. Keating has seen either the needles or the thread. The needles? Thank you. Because if I told you that, you wouldn't have believed me. For which I could scarcely blame you. Now notice. Look. 24 sharp steel needles. I have never seen them before. No needles inside of the glass. Such skeptical people. No needles. The thread, if you please. I will now follow the needles with several thousand yards of this white silk thread. And incidentally, this happens to be the most dangerous part of the trick. You might believe it, but it's it. Watch the thread carefully now. Oh. Remember, please, at no time has the end of the thread ever left your sight. Is that true, Paul? Mm -hmm. Now, watch the thread carefully for the first needle. <laughs> Seven, 
Thank you. I'll be glad to autograph them for you after the performance is over. There they are. And now, seriously, ladies and gentlemen, my next, my next you will not believe, even after you've seen it. For by special arrangement of the Haitian government, you are about to witness for the first time in your lives an, an authentic ritual of the now outlawed Hulu. Right here on the stage, believe it or not, you will see a live, ferocious demon destroyed by the black magic of the most powerful of all witch doctors, the infamous Dr. Bulu himself. I should play the part of Dr. Bulu. The part of the demon will be played by my assistant, Mr. Pepe Gomez. And now, now we're in Haiti, in a jungle clearing. The native drums are beating. Dr. Bulu is preparing to take strength from his altar. Just before he begins his weird incantation, may I present Dr. Bulu. <laughs> Suppose that happened. One minute I was out there, and the next minute, working like an old boo doctor. One thing's certain, I'm not Fred Peters. But if I'm not Fred Peters, then where is Fred Peters? Fred? Fred, where are you? Oh, I, I was enjoying the show very much, Paul. I just said you didn't have it. to change places with anybody, but if I had to change places, I'm very glad it was with you. Well, let's be honest. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid our magic is empty. But we'll be back again next week with another half hour. We will be well bewildered, baffle, and be with you with Charles Cart, the man who can do more things with 52 ordinary playing cards than anybody's 10 fingers, and then as a special treat, making one of his rare television appearances, the great, the one and only Blackstone, who will evoke spirits from the air, who will defy the laws of gravity, who will defy the laws of the land when he saws a lady in half, but he will put her together again. But right now, it's time to say good night. Thank <laughs> you.